Let's go. It's Power 106, Saturday Night Loud, the Rolling Loud family, man. Uh, we got a, a superstar in the building, man. A Grammy-nominated, a, a platinum-selling artist, man. Black in the building. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I'm so excited. I've been a been big fan of yours for many years now. Thank you. And it's great to see you out here dropping new music, mm-hmm. whole new project coming this Friday. Yep. Uh, you know, I love it. I love to see, you know, you've done your thing. You've you've gone ups and downs with music. And to still have that passion to want to put out music, a lot of artists end up losing that. And you got Since I Have a Lover coming out. You know, wh- what made you want to do this? What was the, the big push behind it? Um, I mean, obviously, it's been about like four or five years since my last album. Um, we had an EP in between. Uh, we had COVID in between. <laughs> Um, and a lot of changes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a lot jammed into that four or five years. So I took my time. Um, and this time around, I just like switched my priorities and I focused on myself and making sure my mental was good, my emotional mm. was good, my personal life and relationships were good. And then after those things were taken care of, it was like, okay, now I feel creative. Now I can get some music out. Now I feel like I'm ready to present myself. Definitely, yeah. Because sometimes, yeah, you do lose that 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 mm-hmm. drive that we had when we were super young, mm-hmm. first getting into it. And then once you hit a certain level of success, like you have, like huge records, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I was like, how do some people lose that? Yeah. So you use family, you used time off. Yeah. So that's how you really got back into it. Yeah, grounding time. And for me, it was just like I've always been like as deep into my craft as I could have been, but to an extent to where it got a little bit imbalanced and. I just, like I said, I just had to, like, reset, and it's been fun. Like, it's been more fun than it's ever been. Like, every part of my process has been different, but this time I feel more just, like, complete. I feel more fulfilled while while I'm doing it. So it's a little bit different than it was in 2016 and 2018. Crazy. Father, you know what I'm saying? I know that has a big impact. I'm a mom, Mm -hmm. so I know how that has a huge impact on someone's life. Absolutely. Like, how do you feel your kids have really, like, you know, contributed to the music um i mean it's just an extra pair of eyes watching you and keeping (laughs) tracks you know keeping track of your moves and you know looking up to you by default you know whether you want to be a role model or not if you have a child like that's somebody who you know basically worships everything that you do they Mm. they they worship what you say they follow you around they're superhero yeah just by default sometimes i turn around and just look at her like super black baby yeah i'm like you know you don't have to follow me all the time But they, you know, having that around you just makes you put things into perspective. It makes you uh, be a little bit more responsible, a little bit more accountable, um, a little bit more patient. And I think that I've taken that approach in my music, too. Mm. You know, my daughter taught me patience again. Mm -hmm. She she taught me how to be unfiltered and how to, like, tap into, like, the things that make me happy again. So uh, to have somebody inspire me in that way makes it so that the music is just that much more free. Definitely. How old is she? Six. Six. Oh, fun Mm -hmm. age. Mm -hmm. Fun age. Enjoy that because they get big real quick. I know. know. (laughs) Definitely. Does she like to A&R Daddy's music? Does she tell you what she likes? I, I, she don't. It's less of like her telling me what she likes, more me like running through songs and catching her reaction in the mirror. Uh, so if I'm driving and I play a few songs, if if it don't get a, a hey heat, Bob. yeah a heat check, <laughs> then I know all right maybe that one's not the one. I love uh, it. But since I have a lover, like the the title track was mm-hmm. one of those ones where when she heard the music, it was you know I saw her doing her little thing. I was working on it in a studio, um, and she was just like, "Can I try?" And she did some background vocals on it. What? Some little oohs and ahs. Super cool. Yeah, so, That's awesome. So, yeah, no pressure. I just let her do, you know, whatever feels natural to her. If she likes it, then I know it's a go. Oh, that's so cool, man. Mm-hmm. I, I wish, oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Put her in, uh, like how Khaled put his son apart as the executive <laughs> producer. Yeah, she got, got her she, she, I love that. She's officially going to be in the system, you know, that getting so her little cool. royalties. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Man, so uh, being a young father, you know, uh, what are some of the do's and don'ts that you've learned? Mm. Like, you got any tips for any for, for all these other parents out here, especially dads? Um, Just find the balance. Like, find the balance and really, really, like, dial in on what that is for you. You know, don't feel like, Uh, Because I have a kid, I have to go and I have to work so hard that I'm like missing time and missing opportunities and missing memories. Um, And also, you know, just like I said, find time to really dedicate to your craft and to the things that you love that will sustain like a, a good future and a stable future. So it's just like finding that middle point, really dialing in on what that is. And, you know, don't be hard on yourself. Mm. that's it yeah definitely yeah key balance the time because like I, I've been guilty of that myself mm-hmm. working so hard for them but then you realize at the end of the day like man they just want us yeah that's it they just want to be around hanging out that's it so yeah good advice right there I love it well since I have a lover mm-hmm. like what inspired the that title like uh, break that title down to me 
since I have a lover to me is uh, an answer to a bunch of different questions. Where have you been? What have you been doing? What's inspiring you? Um, it it's literally everything rolled up into one title and it is an ode to my partner you know my partner Mm. who has been with me for a very long time and has been the one person in my life to like check me in ways that nobody else has checked (laughs) me so uh it's me like really paying respect to somebody who has held me accountable and in return like helped me hold myself accountable and it's it's been like really really nice to make music from a place that's not turmoil and that's not depression Mm. and that's not getting back at somebody uh, because sometimes I feel like we get into modes where that style is like almost like a fetish. It's like, oh, we, we love those types of song, breakup songs. And, you know, I'm going to get, get Tox- you back. Yeah. The toxicness. And I, I understand like how easy it is to listen to it and how good it might sound sometimes. But, but, but yeah, but we have been missing that. Especially, I know we grew up yeah. listening to real love yeah, music, love real yeah. R&B, real love songs. Love like. Songs. So, poems like exactly. so definitely excited for this project man thank you i already checked out the the video mm-hmm. for the the single yep. track um did you direct that like you're, you got such a beautiful eye yeah. like that's always been all about you since day one you, everything you. you even put on your social media you're yeah. always like you give that vibe thank you and i really love it so thank you thank you yeah. did you have a lot to do with that this direction is, for yeah. that new video this is the most involved um i've always been super involved with, with each project but this is the most involved i've been uh so far uh, me and my guy Adrian Martinez, mm. um, we got together and we really just like outlined this whole entire album before it was finished. We were like, these are the colors we're gonna use. This is the type of video. Nice and dark. Yeah, it's like this yeah. is the video we want to shoot. This is what we want in the video. This is what what we're trying to convey. We want to pay homage to the free black era started off in black and white mm. and then graduate from black and white into color on some um wizard of oz you know you came of, floating yeah through. yeah what flo- were you on were you on one of those uh, <laughs> hoverboards was, i was on a hoverboard for some parts of it and then i was on the harness uh doing stunts for oh, like you the were rest on a harness of, yeah. okay, because you was just floating and yeah, i was like yeah, how'd they yeah, do that yeah, yeah. the gliding part was the hoverboard and then everything else they had me on a harness and i had to learn that like the day of so <laughs> i was doing front flips back flips what? twists everything yeah, it was you fun. fun it was fun absolutely. good time huh absolutely Absolutely. Are you, you you were a pro on the hoverboard though. You made it look so smooth. That was my first. That was my second day on a hoverboard. What? So, oh, you're natural. Yeah. For, as soon as I like the first day when I got on, I was falling off like every five <laughs> seconds. But by the time we got to shooting the video, I had it down packed and we we figured it great out. Great shot. Great idea. I love it. You guys did a great job editing it out, so Thank it looks you. like you're just mm-hmm. totally floating through. Good job, guys. I love it. Thank you. Um. So the on the album, how many total tracks are we getting here? So there are 19 listed. Um, but within that 19, you have an intro, um, you have two interludes, and you have, at the very least, like, two other songs that are, like, moments. Like, they have a verse, a hook, a bridge, and then it's over. So, Ooh, it's little, 19. Uh, what did we used to call those back in the days? Oh. The little snippets? Yeah, it's just like yeah, it's just like you get into it, and it feels like you're about to get a whole thing, and then it's like, no, that's the I song. remember Donnell Jones exactly. had one of those on his exactly. first album. Sometimes oh. it's all you need. Sometimes all you need is just like a taste of Those something. are the best, because they leave you Absolutely. wanting for more. Absolutely. And like, I know please. it'll translate you know, to the live show. It'll be like people's favorite. So 19 listed, but within that 19, there are just like some moments that are shorter than others. What's the most special song on there that you really want people to tap into when it drops? This Friday, by the way, coming out, y'all. Make sure you get it. My answer to that changes every day. Uh, today, <laughs> Depends I'm gonna, on the mood? Yeah, today I'm going to say Decatur. Since it's like a little bit of a rainy day, Decatur is one of the high points of the album. It's like uh. after you go through a few moods, um, this bright production comes in, and it kind of feels like Afro beats, but the way we mm. approach it is not Afro beats at all. And we just take it somewhere else, and it's, it reminds me of like... Uh, s- summer day, spring day, that um, day party music. Yeah, like we need the, it, man. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm so. about to throw that one in my set list. Yeah, Decatur, that's the one. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, out of all of them, what is your just complete personal favorite? Mm, that changes every day too. <laughs> but today, um, as of right now, it's still fatal. Most proud of. Oh, I, most proud of. That's a. I'm going to give it to Testify. It's like towards the end of it, um, it serves as one of the outros. We have two songs that I think are outros uh, on the project. Testify is more of like a ballad style, singer-songwriter style. Um, When you hear it, it's very like dramatic and climatic. And I know that when we take it to the live show, it'll be like the high point of the show where everybody has their phone lights out. So you're ready. Yeah, swaying back and forth. You're ready for them live shows. Exactly. Well, what's the next live show coming up? We go on tour this fall. Um, I 
believe October. Don't quote me, but October, you know, yeah, uh, headlining tour. Yep, absolutely. You're hitting the whole country. You going overseas too? We start in the states, and then yeah, we we do Ooh. Europe, we do uh, Australia, New Zealand. We I think we're trying to figure out Cape Town, uh, Nigeria, Ghana eventually. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to figure out how to map as much as we can into this tour, even if we have to, like, let it carry over until next year. <laughs> you've been all over the world. You've you've performed everywhere. What is, like, one of those places, like, yeah, I can't mm. wait to get back and perform there again? Mm, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Hmm. Honestly, London. I just London? Came, yeah, I just came from London. Um, I did wireless last year, but I'm ready to have my own show in London again. It's been a very, very long time. And I remember my first time performing in London. It was... It was like a moment of reassurance and knowing mm. that like music really does travel far. And I just can't believe that it made it over here. I love the whole vibe London's got yeah. going on right now. They're really winning too musically. It is. So yeah. like I haven't been personally. Mm. I can't wait to go. My mom to come see you do a show in London. It's a trip. Come rock. It's a trip. For real. <laughs> uh, so just, you know, you out here in Cali, uh, you live sometimes in the east coast atlanta mm -hmm. like what is what is your favorite place if you could literally just a, a, after let's say it's all said and done and you're like mm -hmm. i'm retiring today where would you where would you head to to mm -hmm. live out them days um when i like when i get that you know retire mode I, i'm feeling like out of the country for sure i mm -hmm. would love to go somewhere where i have access to the beach um access <laughs> to a bunch of land um i love costa rica when i went there um so that's like in the back of my mind like maybe one day when it's all said and done and i really want to tuck away like i'll go somewhere like that where i can self-sustain and just like enjoy life so beautiful yeah. I, I hope you get there i can't wait to see Thank that you. um you know covid was a crazy time like did you ever have to do any of those live performances like on the zoom oh where yeah you're yeah I, for I, yourself? I definitely <laughs> did my share of virtual um everything virtual interviews virtual performances um shit sometimes virtual meet and greets right uh, yeah yeah <laughs> but uh it I, I liked it because it was a learning experience for me and it really forced me to like go inside and just find things that I wanted to tweak and like get better at. And since then, I just feel like refreshed and ready for like. I feel it did everything. that to a lot of people. It really set reset the way a lot of us look at things and mm -hmm. and approach things. So it w it was a great time. Yeah, it really was. If you knew how to you know take advantage of it, yeah, it was a good time to reflect. Yeah. What was one of your favorite like TV shows or movies that you really like? I would have never watched unless it was COVID or something. <laughs> well, COVID gave me the time to watch everything. So, mm. uh, what do you like to watch? Apple Are you a YouTube guy? I'm everything. Apple TV had me for a minute. Um, <laughs> uh, Severance on Apple TV was really, really good. Uh, the Bear on Hulu was really, really great. Mm. I saw that. Um, yes. What else did we watch in this time? I, I promise you, I basically watched everything. Um, Rings of Power when they came out with the Game of Thrones like uh, spinoff. I watched that. The Lord of the Rings spinoff. I watched that. Oh, I watched, yeah. I watched everything. Everything. everything yeah. My favorite was Money Heist. Uh, that, Money Heist that, is fire. Woo, that was my favorite. Fire, like, I really yeah. got into that yeah, hardcore. Yeah, of, of the last, like, few years, Money Heist is in my top ten shows. Uh, I love mm -hmm. it. The soundtrack, everything about yeah, it. Amazing. Just even us getting exposed to TV shows from other exactly. countries. We never exactly. had that access before. I've never been that tapped Crazy. in. I've never been that tapped in. And I'm happy that, you know, now. It's Super just, tapped in. Yeah, we, we got access to everything. Uh, making making the some probably one of the best projects because you you grown Absolutely. like you've been through a lot you you as a man just growing up you know kid yep. like new project 19 songs he's got a tour coming up it just seems like you're ready and you're excited i can feel your energy man Absolutely. definitely Absolutely.